That's why to be a CEO, anyone, okay? So first one should be is inside the heart, okay? Should be kind, kind, kind. Hey, hey, what up? Welcome, welcome. It is Sifu Quasi, Kung Fu Chronicles. If you guys haven't already, do me a favor, hit that like button down below. So a whole lot's been going on with the channel and I realized that within this time, a lot of you guys may be wondering, who the hell am I? Like, who is this guy? Who are you? And hey, hey, that's fair, because I realized I've been rolling along here and over the last few months, I've been privileged enough to interview many noted Sifus and instructors in martial arts, but most people don't really know about my history. I have been lucky enough to have been training in the martial arts for over 20 years, mainly Kung Fu, but I actually started in Weichi Ru Karate. That is the Okinawan system that is made famous by the Karate Kid film. Yes, wax on. Wax off. That used to be me. I definitely did that for about two years, got a blue belt in that system, and discovered that it really wasn't my thing, but it was fine. I just wanted something different. So, 1998, I moved to Pasadena, and I wanted to find a system that would speak to me a little bit more. I always wanted to train in Kung Fu because I had grown up loving that system and loving Shaw Brothers movies and all those things. So, looked up an instructor, Master Kenneth Edwards, who taught in the city and still has Shantung Kung Fu in Pasadena. You should check him out if you want to train there. Quick plug. Okay, initially we did the Wallum style of Praying Mantis, that system. But then my Sifu transitioned over to the Northern Eagle Claw system, namely Master Lung Shum's Ying Jiao Pai system. I continued on and eventually got my black belt, but then had to move back to the East Coast for work. When I did, it was only right that I started training at the New York City headquarters because I was already there and I had already had my foundation in it. I met my second and Sifu there, Master Julio Perez, who I trained with for another few years. Under him in the headquarters, I got my instructor certificate. We opened a school together in Brooklyn, and I also eventually got my master certificate in the same system of Ying Jiao Pai. Okay, so we're lucky enough to still have my grandmaster, Long Shum, still alive and kicking and helping to propagate the system. He doesn't teach full-time anymore, but he is in New York still, and of course, teaching and helping out at the school. And as a reminder, check out my video on the headquarters and what they're doing now with both Sifu Paul and Sifu Cecil, who teach there full-time. I'll leave that link right here. Okay, for those that are unfamiliar, quick Eagle Claw history. It was founded and started by a general Nook Fei or Yu Fei, created the system and taught it to his soldiers back in the days of the Song Dynasty. Now the techniques he used were famous for the 108 locks that we now have grown to know and love as our Chin Na system, the 108 locking techniques which, we, which the system is most famous for. Fast forward down the road, a monk named Lai Chin combined that system with an acrobatic style called Fan Zi. Those two combined and we now know the system as Ying Jiao Fan Zi. Ying Jiao Fan Zi Moon, Ying Jiao Pai. In the 20s, one of Eagle Claw's famous fighters, Chan Zi Ying, went on to study and assist instructor Lao Fat Man at the Chin Wu School, and together they propagated the system in that school. For those that if it sounds familiar, it should. If you're familiar with Bruce Lee's Fist of Fury, Jet Li's Fist of Legend, same story, Chen Zen, fictional character, but based around the Chin Wu School that was developed at the time, where all these famous instructors came together and taught under one roof. Now, one of Chan Zi Ying, Top students went by the name of Un Wa Un. Un Wa Un had a godson named Long Shum, my grandmaster, Master Shum. Now here's where people kind of get confused because there are different lineages of Eagle Claw, just like there are different lineages of Chao Le Futse and Wing Chun and Fu Jiao and you name it. The lists are so long, right? Because La Fat Man's direct lineage, of course, were his children. Jinny Lao, Lily Lao, most famously, they have their own branches. I am not a part of that system. They have their own separate branches, props to them, but I am a direct descendant of the Long Shum family. Now, that said, Master Long Shum brought the system to the States in 1974, carried it over from Hong Kong directly from his Sifu, Ong Wa Ong, who I mentioned before, and has been teaching and helping to spread the system ever since. Over the years, Master Shum has had hundreds, even thousands of students who have both become Sifus, instructors all over the world, and the system's been taught everywhere you can imagine, from regions like Puerto Rico, out here in the States, countries like Greece, Brazil, you name it, we're in some country somewhere in some capacity. Since actions are always better than words, why don't I just shut up right now and show you a few of those various instructors that have come through over the years right now. Eagle Claw can say it's a very powerful 
a very crazy system. But other thing is, Eagle Claw is very kind, very kind system. I want to kill you, I kill you. I don't want to kill you, I don't want to kill you. So control by yourself. That's why to be a seafood, anyone, okay? So first one should be is inside the heart, okay? Should be kind. So you want to learn about Eagle Claw Kung Fu? Let's begin. There it is. Now listen, if you're interested in even more information, I suggest that you check out the full history of Eagle Claw Kung Fu, which is available online now. I'm gonna leave the link in the description so you can tag on and check out the full thing. It's about 40 plus minutes that are well worth your time. You'll get the full history of Eagle Claw, as I mentioned before, with many students of both Master Shums and more, talking about that rich history and culture, and so much more. Check the doc, let me know if you like it or not. I guarantee you kind of will. If you're into Kung Fu and the history, I promise you it's well worth it. Your time. Shout out while I'm at it to the producers of that documentary, Sifu Lenny Aaron, Sifu Mike Schiller, Sifu Joel Feinberg. They all came together to put that project together about mm, eight or nine years ago, I believe. It's been a while now. Also, you guys can always check the official Shums Ying Jiao Pai website at yingjiaopai.com. There, there's all the information that you would need on Eagle Claw and a listing of certified instructors and Sifus who are certified to teach this system, including myself. Guys, thanks again for checking in the Chronicles. Check out a few other videos you may like while you're here. Stay safe. See you guys in the next round. And as always, keep punching.